Jackson dishes off. Reggie Williams lost it. Here come the Redmen on the first break they've had. Chris Mullins has to back off. Well, St. John's has to make the extra pass. There goes Mullins off the glass. Except Chris Mullins. They waited an awful long time to throw the paper. Switch the defense with Wingate out. Now Mullins has breathing room over here if they get it to him. Shot clock is down to 13. They might not have realized they didn't have a fresh 45. Chris Mullen has the opening. Quickly they converge. Wennington. McDonald blocked by Wennington. Nice play Save. by Walter Berry. Mullen. A tip of the hat to Walter Berry, though. Sensational. Chris doing what comes natural. Has carried over from the end of the Syracuse game right now for St. John's. Not wise with the basketball, not valuing it at this point. That's right, Luke Ryan second closed the locker room after the Syracuse victory. Wasn't happy down the stretch. Mullen hits another one. It looks like Chris Mullen against the Hoyers so far. That is the part of the game I think Georgetown has to be concerned with. Mars Bordak's not a true point guard. Burry rolls it in and is fouled by Dalton. Well, they got it in deep. The big man, the power forward, can hang with the best of them. And that double-threaded guard along with Moses. But here, just the timing. Hang. Contact. Shooting below normal. Georgetown above. I disagree with Dick Vitale a little bit at halftime. I, I think taking out the Bill Wennington with the two fouls uh, in that situation was smart. I, I think with the talent St. John's has, they have the explosiveness to overcome a deficit that's around 11 points. Well, when you do it all the time, as Louis does, it's tough to question. It's a book. But also, only one big man in at the time. And the gamble, I think, was smart. We'll find out in the next 20. Yes, sir. Burry's left alone and cuts it to nine. We stopped the possible basket for St. John's. It's only Reggie's first. The foul trouble. Bill Martin with three. Michael Jackson, Ewing, and Dalton with two. Ronnie Highsmith with three for Georgetown. For St. John's, Ron Stewart, Bill Winnington, Tariq Berry. And Mike Moses. And a field goal. A terrific assist. Distant. Doesn't get a roll this time. Berry keys a fast break. St. John's looking to close to within seven. Johns does a better job of settling. Mullen. 13 points for Chris. Georgetown, that foul went against Perry McDonald. St. Johns needs something in a hurry. They trail by 12 as we wind down towards the 13-minute mark of an impressive Georgetown performance. No other team but these two have been number one all season long, and Georgetown wants it back. Mullen isn't ready to concede it. Well, the 2-3 left him alone. John Thompson wanted more of that. All of a sudden, you're getting burned because Reggie is filling it up. He's an excellent open shooter, playing up to his abilities tonight. He had two last month, 21 tonight, matching his season high. Mullen answers. Chris Mullen, a quiet 17. Play his ability to jump, working right on him. Very good play by Michael Jackson. Georgetown by 13 again. Mullen. Tip by either Burry or Winnington. I think Burry. Burry. He was in front. 16 points for Burry, only four field goals. The rest from the They have to quicken the pace, get the shots up a little bit. Ewing's all over the floor watching Rowan. Rowan has trouble with it. Ball is loose. Burry puts it in. <laughs> right. Intended. He may have called it. Three and a half minutes left now. Georgetown, and now a few of those fans. Oh, what a read by Reggie Williams. Mickey Crowley, unfortunately for Georgetown, just Mickey couldn't get out of the way. I was going to say, now some of those fans who paid so dearly to get in are starting to trickle out. 